Hey guys, welcome back to Ball Cap Sports. Let's talk some Blue Jays. Lately, I've been doing some football videos and some general baseball free agency videos, but this one, all Blue Jays. I wanted to do a 2020 season prediction video here because uh, over the next couple of months, we'll start to see different publications come out with their projections for the 2020 season. It's January. Those aren't out yet, but there is a way to get our first prediction projection for the 2020 season, and that is by going on to baseballreference.com. If that website's not familiar to you, go check it out. It's a great website for you know any stat heads out there. Love looking up baseball stats, history, and projections. So you can go take a look at our pitchers and look at their projected win-loss records. And that's where we get the first projection for 2020. Now, I don't look at the hitters. Something about the algorithm that they do, it just... The number of at-bats, it's not right. It says that uh, Bo Bichette's going to get 200 at-bats or something like that. It's just not right. But for the pitchers, it's pretty pretty consistent because, you know, they're going to get X number of starts. And and, and BaseballReference.com uh, projects the number of starts that they're going to get, and then we get the wins. So looking at BaseballReference.com, they have our new additions, Chase Anderson going 8 and 6. They have Tanner Roark going 9 and 11, and they have Hyunjin Ryu going 11 and 7. Those are our three new additions. They have Roark going just under 500, Anderson over and Ryu over. Cool. They've also got Shoemaker coming back going 5 and 3. And they've got Thornton putting up a 6-8 and eight season. Now, a couple other guys that are in the mix for some starts this year. Barucky, they've got 4-4. Four and four. K, they've got 3-3. Three and three. Waggis Pack, 6-5. and five. Pretty good, I thought. And Sean Reed Foley, 4-6. and six. So the rotation is looking about 56-53. and 53. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll take that. Uh, the bullpen... They've got the bullpen going 25 and 28 with the with the numerous guys. Bass, Viglio, Romano, Cole, Pannone, Giles. So the bullpen they've got at 25 and 28. So the total 2020 projection out of baseballreference.com is 81 and 81. And I don't know. I would kind of take that. This is the year where I looked at the Blue Jays as a let's figure it out kind of situation. Let's figure it out with some of the younger guys, some of these rotation guys. They've really jumped and done a lot to the starting rotation, a lot more than I thought they would. Cool. I think that means they will be more they will be more um, more aggressive, more competitive in the 2020 season. But 81 and 81, these guys were 67 and 95 last year. So that would be a nice jump. A 14 win improvement over last year would be great. Would set themselves up for, I would think, a big splash or two in the next free agent market, free agent period, uh, to, to bring in maybe one more starter, whether it's via trade or free agency. And... At that point, hopefully we figured out with the lineup, if there's anybody that's just not going to be a part of this decade where they're going to be competing year in and year out. So it was uh, you know, 81 and 81. Uh, I take it. I kind of thought that it was going to be a, a sub 500 projection, but I'll take the 81 and 81. Ryu, Roark, Anderson, not bad. Uh, Thornton six and eight. I mean, looking at what they had, if they had gone into the regular season with Thornton and Barucky and Wags Pack and Reed Foley, that you know that that wasn't that wasn't going to work. So they made some nice moves with the rotation. Now, one thing to note: there is no projection yet for Yamaguchi. Uh, baseball, 
Uh, MLB.com has him currently in the bullpen. We know he's versatile. He could start or he can come out of the pen. Right now, there is no projection for him. Keep an eye on that. But, you know, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm looking forward to to the 2020 season can't wait to see the next steps that Bichette and Biggio and Vladdy and Guriel take I'd love to see uh, some steps from guys like Derek Fisher love to see Teoscar Hernandez you know he had periods where he looked great last year and he just wasn't consistent enough sometimes he looked like one of the best hitters on the team and then other times he just disappeared and his swing looked like he belonged down in a ball but if he can be more consistent if we can see something out of Fisher I think we know what we got with Gritchick that is what it is you know it'd be great Jansen is great behind the plate would love to see him improve with the bat see if McGuire can do what he did at the end there for a long stretch I mean there's a lot to be optimistic optimistic about with this team for 2020 the pitching rotation all of a sudden, with the moves, it was very interesting. Uh, the bullpen, you know, at this point, you kind of feel like what they have is what they're gonna have going into it. So I'd love to, but, but I'd love to see maybe one or two additions to the bullpen. Still, uh, there's some guys out there that we can bring in and give a chance. There's there's a lot of guys out there that we could take a flyer on, and I, I'd love to see that happen. Now, some of those guys may not sign until later in the free agency period because you know they're going to be looking for. You know, they might be looking for multi-year deals or big dollars or prominent roles. So those guys to take a flyer on, we may not get that, get get to see those deals get done until later because those guys still want to pitch. Maybe they want to pitch, you know, they want to be a top line rotation or they want to be in the rotation, but, you know, the Jays would see them as a bullpen guy, something like that. It, that is what I'd like to see the rest of the way. I, I, I'd be shocked if there's any big moves. You know, they're, 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 the Jays have been pretty quiet. You know, they signed James Dykstra. And that's a minor league arm. You know, maybe he does something and, and he can move up. But, you know, the highest he's reached is AAA and it got lit up. So, you know, unless the Jays pitching staff can work with him and tweak some things and adjust his mechanics. And he's, he's, we're probably going to, you know, we're probably not going to see him uh, up on the in the big league, in the big leagues this year, unless there's a lot of injuries. So we'll see how that plays out. But I'd love to see something, maybe a little bit, one or two guys for the bullpen. I love what they've done with the rotation. The, the lineup is looking good. It's a bummer that they missed out on Edwin, but it's all right. Shaw's excited to be on the club, and that's fantastic. You love guys that want to be there. Uh, Ryu wants to be here from you know his, uh, his press conference and everything. So exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. 2020 is going to be awesome. Uh, this is our first look at a projection. As uh, as we get more projections will come out, uh, I like to look at Ron Shandling's uh, baseball forecaster. Uh, that should be out in eh, probably February, March. Uh, and it'll be the show 20 will be out in March, and we'll do a, a simulation of the season with the players uh, when they put them in there. So we'll do some projections as we build up to the 2020 season. But until then, as always, we'll come back if anything happens. But thanks for hopping on. Thanks for watching. And we'll be back soon.